let's understand about the primary and foreign keys in power bi so primary keys are the keys which are unique inside any particular table so this is a customer table for us inside this customer there is a customer key of 6443 6444 6445 and so on so all these customer ids are unique so these became primary key the primary key table is also known as dimension table or lookup table as correspondence to this primary key customer can purchase multiple time so this customer 6444 has purchased product id 50 product id 50 and product id 55 so this customer can purchase a lot of items so the table which contains multiple instances of the same line item is known as foreign keys table and the table's name is also treated as fact or data tables so let's go and try to understand the same thing into power bi in live environment so this is our power bi table inside that let's import two of our data sources so one is our product subcategories table we are importing that and let's go and import product categories table as well so let's go and import our product uh, categories lookup table this is getting loaded there are two categories for us now let's do close and apply and this will close and do a refresh on the data and in two to three seconds this will appear because this is loading in the background so let's see yeah this is loading here once this gets loaded we will go on the left bar and our data model is on the left side so we will try to understand how this data model will work and how we can identify the primary keys and foreign keys inside this data model so let's wait for a moment and this has been done let's get go to our data model here this is getting loaded now inside our data model there are multiple tables as you can see so we need this territory lookup table product lookup table customer lookup table clothing calendar lookup table sales lookup table but this sales data table is for 2024 so we don't need that so let's remove that for a moment also we don't need this demo for pivot and unpivot table at the moment so we will also remove that as well so we remove that here after that we can see our category table and subcategory table is also shown here once we see them you can understand and see that this territory table is containing a line item known as sales territory key inside this sales territory key all the line items are unique so let's go to our table view and go to our sales territory key and inside that you can see all the territory keys are unique 1 2 3 4 5 and so on if we go to our data model again you can see within a sales territory a lot of products can be purchased so sales data contains a lot of territory details as you can see here and the same thing can be seen in our table view as well so we go to sales data and you can see territory key number 7 is being shown here because multiple customers have purchased within this territory so we can conclude that sales data is our foreign key table and the territory key table becomes our primary key table so we can go and create identifiers for that so if we go to sales territory key and select this table inside properties we can create this as a key column as you can see here key column so we go and make the sales territory key as the key column once you do that a symbol of card kind can be shown here which is showing that this is our important primary key Similarly, we can do this for the product as well. So we click on the product table and we identified the product key as our primary key. This is getting loaded. This has been updated. 
the same thing can be done for the customers so we go here and customer key becomes our primary key because these are our lookup tables and only one time of each instance occurs there is no duplication inside that this is just like the VLOOKUP where unique values we are having and we want to bring certain data against those unique values inside this calendar table we can go and choose the date as the primary key because date would be unique after that we can go and select our product category key so this product category would become unique so we write product category key as the unique key as you can see and finally our product subcategory would become unique so we go to product subcategory and this product subcategory key became unique for us now this has been done and the sales data all the data are foreign keys because the details are containing at a multiple instances i hope you understood the difference between primary and foreign keys and thank you for watching